It's really difficult to explain the sort of like pain. And like I'd never wish it upon anyone because it's been one of the hardest things I've ever gone through in my life. And probably will be the hardest thing I go through, but yeah. Probably the most painful thing I've experienced because like I've never lost someone that's that close to me before. When you're like best friends with someone basically, like like I was with Timmy. It was just really hard to get your head round. Like when it happened, I didn't believe it at all. Like I just couldn't believe it. You don't want to believe it. So for like a month afterwards, like all my family were grieving, like really upset, like really depressed and everything. And then I was just there and I was just like normal me because I still had the idea that he was gonna come back. Yeah, the last few days were like really strange because I remember just being woke up at the weekend when it happened. Um, he died at four in the morning and I was woke up at nine. I just, I didn't believe it. My mum came and sat on my bed and she was like, and he's gone. And I was like, wait, no, he's not. And then I walked into the room and I saw him. Like, this is real. It's so hard to comprehend because I was literally ho holding him, just like begging him to come back and he obviously didn't. Especially when you think that someone's gonna be okay after you've been told that someone's going to be okay. I never got to say goodbye properly because I really wanted to be there when it happened. But all my family saw him before I did and then I was told last. And I remember being really angry with my parents and I'd just go around and I'd just like punch the hell out of the wall or something. I don't think people deserve to be angry with themselves. Like for the rest of their life kind of thing. There's been times where I've just been sort of going about my day again and it's just been like as if he's stood right next to me or something. It's almost like I could speak to him, but I, I can't. So it's really odd because you really, it's like no matter how much you wish someone to be there, they're not. They could be, but they're not. And it's just a really horrible realisation when you feel like someone's right next to you, but they're not. I'd say to Timmy, I miss you more than anything, anyone, everyone I have ever lost. You've left the biggest hole in my heart that will never be healed, and you'll forever be a part of me, and nobody could ever replace a beautiful soul I know you were and are. I'm sorry that cancer took you so soon, and I'm so sorry that you are no longer here to enjoy life as any boy, brother, or son should. You have made me ultimately proud, strong, caring about everything I do and say, and for that I am thankful. Thankful that you have fought, taught me, not only in person but in spirit. You have taught me to be a loving soul and a well-rounded human being, and I'll forever cherish every memory I've ever shared with you, from the beginning to the end. I miss you, and this is just not fair. I love you.